He is also an outstanding new member of Rotary Club of Makati 1992, past Secretary General and Vice President of the Manila Board of Realtors, and now the incumbent President of Manila Board of Realtors. He loves to play golf, tennis, bowling, there are bowling, yeah. And uh, he takes the JC tenet to his heart. Service to humanity is the work, the best work of life. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our resource speaker, the incumbent president of Manila Board of Realtors, President Evan Torres. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Secretary Brady. You know, I conferred with him at one time I should end. And he told me I should end at 5.30. So he said, I'll take two, 32 minutes left. Two minutes for the installation of the projector, and 30 minutes for my uh, speech. Anyway, I decided to just do three things. One is to summarize all what we have discussed in the first day, second day after this afternoon of all the speakers and make a little review and then we go to rapports. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tessa, no more life, no? <laughs> anyway, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me here because, you know, I didn't bother to ask why I should be here. So, I thought they just, uh, I just thought that maybe I was say uh, I'm the, the president of Manila Board, or maybe they have heard of what I'm doing in the real estate practice. So I'm here. But you know, when I saw the program, it says I should talk about secrets of real estate marketing. And luck. And I should deliver it in one hour. And I said to the Secretary General, maybe to be more interesting, I should rather talk about secrets of our love life. <laughs> Your love life, why up to now we remain single? Oh. And the rin yung naghula sa akin. I am playboy now, but up to now I'm still single. <laughs> anyway, mali ata. So sabi ko sa, kali, sa likod ko, naniniwala ka ba ito? Bakit may kamali sa akin? Ay hindi ko kasi yung may bigote. <laughs> so, she said, rather you should talk about global or real estate marketing. And anyway, all the speakers I sat down on the back from day one, day two, up to the start afternoon. And all the topics that I should be discussing have been discussed already. So last night, I slashed some of the slides that I had. So it will be about 30 minutes na lang. Okay? <laughs> they have, actually, uh, uh, Mr. Bansatsua is uh, my official remittance abroad in Singapore, in Taiwan, and in Vancouver, Canada since uh, five years ago up to now. So, anyway, uh, I should talk about real estate and global marketing. May I start with raising of the hands? How many of us here are doing real estate marketing? Selling to foreigners and to Filipino services. Okay. So, marami pala. So, it will be a very interesting discussion and interaction. Okay, so it's here. Now, uh, according to my classmates, the top instructor in the international property specialist, Ms. Ida Turbo, and I know, I know some of my classmates are still here, you be brokers should know some, you know, should master some skills before we reach out the global market or even domestic. And what are these? I just put my picture there because up to now it's my dream to perfect these skills. <laughs> now, we should, of course, we brokers know that uh, we have the reason law, but we, we should be licensed, and we should have at least 20 sales persons, all the rest. This has been discussed lengthily by our director, uh, uh, Etiong. We should know the market and the product knowledge. Now, we should know which are prime areas in Metro Manila. Kung sinabi ko ba yung Makapagan Avenue or Ross Boulevard is a prime area, okay ba yun? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
because right now, SME, I think, is capitalizing of the construction of the entertainment city, right? What the fuck for the fashion? Or Pampanga, why? Because the airport now is in Pandora, right? I think the prices of properties there are now doubling. Or in Pampanawa. That's why the fire is going there because there are a lot of foreigners who are buying buying properties, resorts in that area. Or in Cebu. Right? Financing. So we brokers should know the financial. Uh, the financing. We should have access to the banks. Even to the Pag-Ibi. Kasi yung mga Pilipinos overseas, right? O pwede, pwede mong plugging. Uh, those who would like to sell acquired assets, you can come to us. We can help you. We just signed a memorandum of agreement with the President of Pag-Ibi to sell the acquired assets. But then one, this should be a member of Manila Board. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ayo, then pa networking. Pa 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 networking. Kasi wala pang board. Pwede the networking, I think, uh, it is a must that we should know or some access with immigration. Then the DA, then the banking, the amount of the instant curtains, that provide the furniture, all this. No? Even the judges and the lawyers. Later on, I will discuss why. No? The presentation skills, ito, that point ito. Negotiations, the valuable position. What is what does it, uh, what is it that makes you different? The services that you offer from others, so that those people will come to you, right? And the tax issues that have been discussed uh, by uh, yesterday or last night, all the tax issues, the documents, you know, all these things. So technology, especially foreigners, they prepare to to you know to communicate with us online, email, uh, Viber, uh, Skype. Tuturuan ka pa nga tayo kung paano mag-install. No? So lahat ng face time, so all these things should now be uh, adopted by our brokers. Marketing and all the sports. No? So, uh, having said that, we should know how to make researches. Hmm? Researches. What are to be researched? Do we have to make a country assessment model? Hindi ko na po ito discuss kasi tapinin sa po tayo. No? We should know the geography of the country, or real estate practice, laws and rules, policies, you know, demographics of the population, government, and classic government, John, economy and business infrastructure beyond the basics, what are these traditions and religion or culture, because this affects the transaction in real estate. And networking. Can we uh, practice uh, uh, real estate in all countries that we choose to do? Pwede ba yun? No. Kailangan lang yung meron tayong reciprocity agreement, di ba? Uh, pag wala, like in the US, we cannot do practice, we cannot practice real estate there. Kasi wala tayong reciprocity agreement. So kailangan meron tayong mga network. No? Kaya ako po sumabago doon sa international organization, international property specialist. So we can, we can communicate with at least 1 million licensed brokers all over the world. And you can post your properties there. Okay? Now, hindi po tayo magtatagal po dito because this takes a lot of, we took this for so many days. Now, we will just uh, talk about the more practical, easily handled, and wala ka po problema and very comfortable to talk with, no? These are the... Overseas, because uh, tamang-tama kayo kind of discussion. The... Uh, so what? We will not talk lately about this because uh, we know the data already, matami ng data pinalabas. But this is the prospect of the overseas Filipino workers. What I will tell you is how do we apply all those things that have been put to us by the first speakers in the in day one you know, and the other speakers. Okay?